being able to finish my career, you know, uh, with Leadman, um, you know, getting the record would be just the ultimate icing on the cake. Being able to kind of go out with possibly one of the ultimate trail races, it's almost a Cinderella ending. And that's, you know, that's why it became a goal. And that's why, you know, I'm you know, still going to work, you know, as hard as I'll ever work to try and achieve it. You know, th this, this year is going to be my last year competing. Um, you know, no matter how, how, the, how the series goes. And, um, you know, I, I just, I wanted to do something I was really excited about. And Lead Man's always been on that bucket list. So getting out there and, and committing to it and, and, you know, like focusing on it now, I'm excited. Mike, what do you feel is going to be your biggest challenge for this season? I think... Uh, Getting to the bike will probably, uh, you know, be the hardest thing. Um, you know, 100 miles on a bike is a long way, um, and then being able to actually come back the next day and be able to run uh, for someone like myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm really worried about that. <laughs> yeah. It's either going to be like awesome or it's going to be an awesome failure. So uh, we'll see. You know, one race at a time. Um, if it's good enough for the record, then yeah, it'll be fantastic. If it's good enough for the win, you know, that'll be great. Um, but if I can survive it, then I'll be happy. <laughs> What's it actually feel like to put your feet on the red carpet and run those last 50 steps to the finish line? I'll be honest with you, uh, in both of my finishes I've only done that once. Um, it's, <laughs> it's an amazing feeling, but the carpet's nice because you can see the finish. But I think once you cross that line and you just realize what you've accomplished, it, it, it's a magical feeling.